Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Nenrique, and today I'll be doing a video discussing The True Miriam. Now, when it comes to this series called The True, and I'm using air quotes, you guys can't see it, but if you guys are new to my channel or new to or this, is your first time watching a video of mine, I basically do these type of videos. I discuss, discuss a certain type of character and like everything. So that's what it means by The True. I'm going to do a lot more characters for Hunter x Hunter. So if you guys want to see me do any, like any characters in particular, I'm going to end up doing a lot but if you guys want to see like any characters in particular leave them in the comment section down below but today i'm going to be talking about miriam now when it comes to miriam this is a fan favorite character his design everything about him hell i have him as my profile picture and he just looks so badass now one of the things that people love about miriam is his mindset his character development and i'm not gonna lie he is easily one of the most developed characters in hunter x hunter period i mean we first start off in we see that he he's all about killing all he wants to do is just kill 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 a kill over and over and over he wanted to kill all the humans he wanted to become the king and there was nothing more nothing less about his character but then we see once he starts interacting with Kamungi, once he actually finding out about his powers that he ultimately does become a whole nother different person and he basically stops becoming this power hungry person and he actually ends up growing to love and he actually ends up having feelings where in, in the beginning he just started off as this person i was like okay i'm the dominant species everybody else is below me but then we see he ends up changing and he actually does become somebody that actually does have feelings and it was special because he's not a human and chimera and it's basically like us like if a human ended up bonding with a pet or it is going to sound weird but it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> i can't even say it's so funny but it's basically like if a human fell in love with one of their pets or one of the animals because we know that that the, the chimera ants are basically above humans when it came to the food chain so he was basically befriending one of his prey so let's imagine if you see a chicken and you're like oh i love this chicken and yeah this is getting weird now but in a nutshell that's what it was like with miriam and when it comes to his fighting he is very controversial when it comes to his fighting and let me tell you why because there are some people who believe that he is the strongest character that we've seen so far no matter what they say especially the post nuke Miriam. and then you got people saying like oh Miriam, he was basically just like the tip of the iceberg there's going to be so many more stronger people uh when it comes to the series now i'm going to be honest i'm kind of in the middle i don't think that Miriam's like the strongest thing that we've ever seen so far because we got all the other hunters like jing of them but i still don't think that he's like like, like that, he, that he's just that anybody can beat him now like me personally i think he's stronger than 90 percent of the series that we've got introduced to i'm talking about like the characters that we've seen so far i'm not talking about people that we don't know about but like out of the characters that we've seen so far i think that he could take on basically anybody except for the zodiacs and there's stuff like natural like uh maybe prime Nether, i don't know but post nuke Miriam, he definitely isn't somebody to sleep on now i'm not gonna lie the one i guess you could say the one thing that i didn't like about his character but i don't i don't really not like about it the one thing that i had an issue with his character is that he basically he was so strong but he didn't use the power and i can understand why like i get it his whole mindset changed but i wish he would have stayed as that savage miriam and i, I think i would have liked that a little bit more than him actually catching feelings and dying and yeah the way he was taken out a lot of people they're like oh it's just a cop-out plea the whole poison everything me personally i think that's literally the only logical way that he could get defeated because at that point he was god nobody could take him out and if he wasn't defeated that way it would have been done through some bullshit but that's basically it for this little video comment you guys see down below subscribe if you haven't peace out